Hey everyone, uh, back with another scratch guide. Uh, this time we're going to be making a simple maze game. Um, I'm, I'm sort of going to show you the start of it, um, the first sort of section, and then I'm going to leave you guys to add and create and change it yourself. Um, I think it's really important that you guys can, can tinker and develop your own your own style with it. So let's let's get started. First thing, delete the cat as usual. Uh, then we're actually going to add two backdrops today. Uh, we're going to add one that is our maze. Sorry, just let me go back. We're going to add one that's our maze and one that is a windscreen. Um, so I'm going to hover over, not click on it, hover, and I'm going to press the paintbrush. And I've got two up here already, so I'm going to go to backdrop one. Let me fill this in. I want a nice bright colour. I want to fill it completely like that. Nice purple colour. Right, let's go to the pen. Uh, and we're going to draw a nice simple maze. So let me put it on white. I want a nice contrasting colour. Now at the moment, my thickness is only on 10. So I'm not really getting a very, very thick line. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to white. Uh, I'm going to change my thickness. I'm going to put it up to something like 100. Let's have a look at that. It's quite thick. Let me change it. Actually, I'm going to go up to 130 maybe just to make it a little bit thicker. That's better. And then what I'm going to do on here is I'm going to draw... Um, I say a maze, more of a track, really. Um, so I want to put some nice sharp corners in there, if I can. Um, let me go like that. Let me go around here. I wonder if I've got enough room to go back on myself like that. Yep, there we go. So there's my maze. It's a bit messy up here, but we'll change it. There we go. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in a, a third colour. So if you think about it, we've got three colours. We've got a purple background, we've got our white track, uh, and then we're going to put in a, a contrasting colour for our finish line. Uh, I might just change it to red, actually, seeing as it's already there. Uh, and I'm going to pop a red dot there, like that. Um, so that's that's it for my background uh, back, back, backdrop one. I'm going to add a second backdrop, so let me go to there. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a windscreen. So let me fill this in bright red. Uh, let me get my text, change it to white. And in here, I'm just going to write winner. In fact, I might do winner, winner. Chicken dinner. There we go. Uh, I don't really like the text on that, so let's play with it. Let's change it. Uh, nope. Let's go. I, I might do the pixel one. Let's make it nice and big. Like that, right? Perfect. That's it. I'm not going to go too complicated. So I've got a backdrop, and I've got a winner screen. So let me go on backdrop one. Let me change this to maze, and let me change this one to winner screen. It's going to make it a little bit easier if we change the name of that costume. It's going to make it a little bit easier when we do our code later on. So let's go back to the maze. So we've got our two backdrops. Let's go to the code. We don't need any code on the maze at all at the moment. What we need to do is we need to add a sprite here. So let's uh, hover, no, let's click on there and let's get the ball. We're gonna use the ball, it's nice and easy. Now, at this moment in time, this ball is way too thick to be traveling through uh, the track that we've made. So let's change the size, something like 35, 40. Yeah, that'll do. Drag it to the start. Okay, so you can you can get the idea of the game. I think we're going to get our ball traveling through our maze to the red dot. Uh, the way we're going to do it is we're going to get it following our mouse. We're not going to use the keyboard or the arrow keys. We're going to get we're going to uh, make a mouse control game. Um, now, as, what I generally like to do is I generally like to think of two two bits of code. So we've got a reset so that if we lose or if we need to restart the game. Uh, and then I, I like the, the the chunk of the code which is actual the actual game. Um, I find it easier if I do the reset one first. So let's do the reset one first. Um, just because everything's, right now, everything is at the start. Everything's how we want it to be if we reset the game. So it just makes it a little bit easier. So events, let me just make this a little bit bigger. This is for when we click green. This is for when we want to start again. Now we want it to go back to, we want the ball to go to here. So we want go to uh, X and Y and those coordinates. Now those coordinates, those numbers there, are for where my sprite is right now on my screen. Um, so your two figures in there might be slightly different, they might be completely, in fact they probably won't be completely the same. Um, it'd be weird if they were. Um, so yeah, so those numbers will be slightly different, okay? Uh, we also want it to, uh, if I just go to control, we want to put stop all in. Um, that's because um, 
the mouse the ball is going to be following the mouse as it travels through so we just want it to completely stop everything that it's doing um and then the other thing is we want it to change the switch the backdrop not to the windscreen i know it's already on the maze but whenever we restart we want the backdrop to be this maze screen so we'll change it to that so if i move this anywhere press green it's going to go back to the start ready to go so that's our reset button i might add a comment on that i might type in reset button sorry you can't see let me change that so there's our reset button so i know what that is now okay um yeah leave it on screen for a second right so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our code for getting around and moving and just just generally moving our character so what we want is uh events we want when this sprite is clicked we want it to forever motion we want it to go to now it says go to random position we do want this block but not random position what we want it to do is we want it to go to mouse pointer so that mouse pointer one is hidden there as, as random position so now when i click on the ball the ball will follow wherever my mouse goes the only problem is it doesn't matter if it's hitting the purple okay so let's add that next let me just test our reset button as well so if i press green what should happen is it should stop following should go back to that point let's test it perfect uh right let's add uh the purple so if it hits the purple if the if the ball touches anything that is that purple we want it to go back to the start because we want to reset what we're doing you've lost so you have to restart the game so we want this block here this if then all right and what we're going to do is instead of starting a new bit of code or anything we're going to sneak it in underneath there so we've snuck it in there and what we want to say is we want to say if i'm touching the color purple then we want it to do something so sensing touching color you'll see that that fits in there when it glows it fits in so let's fit it in there Currently it's at blue, so let's change it to that purple. Now, what you have to be careful of is you can't just select like this and go, oh, yep, that's purple, that's purple. They're not the exact same purple. It has to be the exact same purple. So to do that, what I do is I click in, click on the color picker. You can see it's highlighted my, my screen. So now what I can do is I can zoom in, I can select either the white, the purple, the red, I can even select the yellows and oranges on there. What we want to do is collect the purple. So now that I know that that purple there is the exact purple that's here. So if I touch um, the purple, we want it to go back to the start, we want it to restart the game. Well, we've already done that. We've done that up here, haven't we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate I'm going to sneak it in there. The only one we don't really need uh, is this switch backdrop too, because we'll already be on it. So we just need those two bits. So if I'm touching the color purple, it's going to go back to that starting point and it's going to stop following. So let's test it. It's following my mouse. If I touch purple, yep, it goes back to the start. So I need to try and get as far around the game as I can without losing. Okay, I'm going to have to practice at this, I think. Let me get around now. The We've done that, but the only thing we haven't done is if we're touching red, we want a win. We've got a lose, we need a win now. So let's do it for if we're touching red. Let me click off there like that. So now a lot of this is blocks we've already got in, so you should be able to find them fairly easy. So let's keep going. Let's go to if then. We're going to sneak it in again. Now this is where you have to be really careful about where you fit it in. What we've got, if I just pull everything apart a little bit, like that so we've got this bit this was our moving block we've got if touching color purple that's separate that goes in under there and then in here let's build this actually actually let's build this separately so if we're touching red change the color to that red then what i want you to do is i want you to change the backdrop switch backdrop to the windscreen now I need to be careful where I put that. I don't put it inside this if block here. I don't put it underneath, I put it in that gap there. So the inside forever, I've got the if, if touching color, if touching color, and the go to mouse. I've just got those three bits, separate chunks. Um, so let's test it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. Cause we're in the editor, we can still drag this ball. So if I click and hold, I can drag the ball. I can let go here. 
hover over. There you go. Okay, so we've got it on that red. We've got it winning. The only problem is I don't really like the fact that you can still see that ball there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more blocks just to cheat, uh, just to hide it away. So I'm going to still unlock. We've got hide and show. These are really useful, actually. I use these all the time for loads of different games. Um, so if I'm touching the color red when we've won, I want you to hide the ball. I want you to make it go invisible. Um, but that means we need a show, obviously, at some point. So let's go and show. Let's put it in here on our reset one up here. So we've got a reset block. Let's add it to that. Add show to that. Okay, so let's test it. Let's press click on it. It's following. If I lose, does it go back to the start? Yes. Uh, let me cheat and drag it over here. Uh, oh, still went wrong. Like that. Let's win. Yep, we've got our win screen. You can see the ball's been hidden as well. I just think it looks a little bit better. So now when we press reset, we're ready to go again like that. Um, now that's as far as I'm going to get with this game. It's a simple game. You get through the maze, you get to the end, you win. Now what you guys could do now is you could add to that in a couple of different ways. You could add uh, different different levels. So where we've only got two backdrops, you could have maybe three, four, five backdrops where if you get to the red, instead of uh, just winning, you go. it loads up another level. And then when you win that one, it loads up another level. So you could add different levels to your maze game. Um, the other option is you could add a variable, which is a countdown timer. And if you don't hit the, the red in time, you've lost as well. So you could add to it by doing that as well. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave it so that you guys can play around with it. I'd really like to see some remixes, actually, and see what you can, you can add and see what you can come up with. Um, let me go to the project page. Because when we've done any project, we need to save it, share it, add some instructions. So I'm going to call this one a simple maze game on instructions. Um, not too much to go on here. So let's do click on the ball to make it follow your mouse. Try, oh, can't type. Try to get to the red area. But Avoid the purple. Okay. Uh, now on this one, I can't drag it like I could uh, on the editor. So this is our full game. So this one is where we'd play it properly and for real. Uh, so I've done the title. I've done the instructions. Press share. It's now live with the world. Anyone can have a go with it. Uh, so yeah, like I say, um, I'd love to see some remixes on this one. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. I'd love to see what you can add to it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope it was useful. Uh, have a go yourselves. See you later.